These are the six most popular assets found in food, and today we're gonna show you how to make them to take your bartending to the next level. Let's get shaken. Citric acid, it's used in countless cocktails. It's tart, cinching, and we apparently eat about five grams of it a day. Prime example, orange juice. It gets harped on because it doesn't have as much acid as lemon or lime juice, so its flavor profile is much flatter when used in cocktails. However, with the help of citric acid, we can help bring the flavor of orange juice forward and more pronounced. Additionally, alternative acids are a great way to cut down on waste and have less of an ecological impact when it comes to making cocktails. Although using a solution does taste different from using the original fruit, victory over waste sure tastes great. This acid comes in the form of a powder, so it's best to dissolve it in water, similar to what you would do with salt in a saline solution. This solution can be added directly to cocktails, enhancing acidity and adding complexity. Here's how to make this solution. An extremely accurate scale is key for measuring out your ingredients. Combine 100 grams of filtered water with 25 grams of citric acid powder and stir until dissolved. This doesn't need to be refrigerated, so you can store this in a glass dropper bottle and place it in your bar at room temp. A teaspoon of citric acid yields the same amount of acidity as three quarters of an ounce of lemon or lime juice, but it isn't a one-to-one -one replacement for the flavor of lemon or lime. This acid excels when using a cocktail that lacks acidity and needs an extra boost. Death & Co showcases the power of citric acid in their blood and sand cocktail. To get started, we're gonna add one ounce of scotch to our shaker tin. Next, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of Carpano Antica Formula Vermouth, three quarters of an ounce of cherry liqueur, one ounce of fresh orange juice, two drops of our citric acid solution, add ice and shake. Double strain into a chilled coupe. Phosphoric acid is an acid that's used in almost all colas, including our sugarcane cola syrup. It doesn't have an odor or flavor. It simply brings a sour acid taste to your tongue. Though this ingredient isn't necessarily hard to get, it does come in a very concentrated form and it's very dangerous to handle. So we recommend you do some research for safe dilution and consumption. If you're looking for an easy solution, there is a product out there called Extinct Acid Phosphate made by Darcy O'Neill over at artofdrink.com. This product is already diluted and ready to use but it should still be used sparingly. It's recommended to use between half a teaspoon and one teaspoon. If you use too much, you're gonna end up with a metallic flavor. Let's use this in a cocktail, shall we? To our blender, we're gonna add four ounces of orange juice and one teaspoon of phosphoric acid solution. We're gonna blend that at high speed to fluff the orange juice. Next, we pour our orange juice into a Collins glass filled with crushed ice. Top it with one and a half ounces of Campari and garnish with an orange twist. The third acid we're gonna be looking at is lactic acid. This acid is more commonly used to bring a creamy texture to a cocktail without adding milk or dairy products. Similar to citric acid, this comes in powdered form. Because of how strong this acid is, we follow the Death & Co recommendation of one to nine ratio of water to acid when preparing it for cocktails. We're gonna combine 90 grams of filtered water with 10 grams of lactic acid, and we're gonna stir until dissolved. Here at Liber, we use lactic acid to give some of our syrups a more round texture. And it comes in handy if a more round texture is what you're looking for in a cocktail. Let's make the Fig Blossom Collins cocktail with lactic acid. To get started, we're gonna add half an ounce of caramelized fig syrup, one and a half ounces of vodka, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, and one dash of lactic acid. Add ice and shake. Strain over a Collins glass filled with ice and add your club soda. Garnish with the lemon wheel. Up next is malic acid, another type of acid that should be pretty familiar with our taste buds. This acid is the same acid you find in green apples. It's bright and tart. For cocktails, this is used in a similar fashion as citric acid in a solution. Now this acid is stronger than citric acid, so the solution we're making is slightly weaker than our citric acid solution. We're gonna measure out 100 grams of filtered water and add 10 grams of malic acid and stir until dissolved. You can store the solution at room temp on your bar top. No need to refrigerate. Malic acid is also used in syrups and we feature it in our real red grapefruit cordial and our blood orange cordial. In our orchard Mai Tai, the apple brandy has to compete with bold flavors and spices. Adding a couple of drops of malic acid can help apple brandy shine and cut through this recipe. Let's make it. To get started, we're gonna add half an ounce of almond orgeat to our shaker tin. One bar spoon of demerara gum syrup, one bar spoon of ginger syrup, one ounce of apple brandy, one ounce of brandy, bar spoon of allspice dram, a couple of drops of malic acid, and half an ounce of lemon juice. Add ice and shake. Strain into a rocks glass filled with ice. Garnish with apple slices and a cinnamon stick. Apricots, apples, 
and grapes. They all have one thing in common. They have tartaric acid. Notably, the tartaric acid found in grapes is what determines the acidity found in wine. And the solution is often used to give cocktails the same sort of drying effect that you find in wine. This acid is more commonly used hand in hand with other acids like lactic. But should you want to use it by itself, you're gonna to wanna to use the same one to 10 ratio as found in our malic acid solution. We're gonna mix 100 grams of filtered water with 10 grams of our tartaric acid. Mix until dissolved and store at room temp in a glass dropper bottle. Let's make our New York Sour. This cocktail is a perfect recipe for our tartaric acid solution because it boosts up the tannic flavor of our red dry wine. To get started, we're gonna add half an ounce of our classic gum syrup to our shaker tin. Next, we're gonna add one ounce of lemon juice, two ounces of whiskey, one ounce egg white, and one dash of our tartaric acid solution. Add ice and shake. Strain over ice into a rocks glass and float your red wine on top. Last but not least is an acid that's critical to our survival, ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C. C. Ascorbic acid is an antioxidant that works well for preserving fragile ingredients that get damaged when they come into contact with oxygen. This is more commonly used as is in powder form to help prevent juices, syrups, and even infusions from oxidizing. For example, adding one teaspoon of ascorbic acid to one quart of juices and whisking until dissolved can help keep lemon or lime juices from oxidizing. Additionally, switching out the juice for water can make an ascorbic acid solution that's ideal for rinsing fragile garnishes like apple or pear slices and help prevent them from browning. And there you have it, plenty of options for you to explore. I hope this helps you in your bar game at home. Let us know what cocktails you're interested in trying out at home. Until next time, cheers.